Hello and welcome. The year is 2014 and WrestleMania XXX has just happened. Welcome to the new WWE Weekly in 2014. Every single Monday and Tuesday will be Raw and Smackdown. An episode of Raw on a Monday, an episode of Smackdown on Tuesdays. And then on a Sunday when it happens, a pay-per-view very similar to how we do Impact Wrestling Weekly. We're going to quickly run through the results of WrestleMania XXX and then we're going to get on with the Raw after it. So, the Usos defeat Los Matadores, um, the Real Americans win Rybaxel, which actually haven't got their real name in the game, so I will be keeping an eye on that and making sure they have that name in the game at a later on date, because I know for a fact they haven't got it. Thank you, can I just copy? Thank you. Um, Daniel Bryan defeat Triple H with Stephanie McMahon. The Shield, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins defeat Kane in the New Age Outlaws in a six-man tag action. This is our run by... Um, Won by last eliminating Big Show in the 31-man Andre the Giant Royal Battle Royal before it was on the pre-show. John Cena defeated Bray Wright. Brock Lesnar defeated The Undertaker. AJ Lee defeated Asuka. Alicia Fox, Free Bella, Cameron, Emma, Eva Marie, Layla, Naomi, Natalia, Nikki, Roseman, and Summer Rae, and Tamina Snooker by submission, which was the invita invitational match for the WWE Championship. And then Daniel Bryan won the title at the end of the night by submission. We're going to follow on from that. With my own edition, we're taking up more time than we can allow. Where are we taking up more time? Um, help. Ah. Excuse me a minute while I finish booking the show, because this is meant to be pre-show. Is that it? There we go. Awesome. Let's run this episode of Monday Night Raw. We're going out tonight. Da -da 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 -da. In a pre-show bout with Sub Professional Heat, Tyson Kidd, Xavier Woods, and Zack Ryder defeat Christian Cage, Kurt Hawkins, and Damien Sandown in 4:36 when Tyson Kidd defeats Damien Sandown by becoming the Code Blue. Um, and Tyson Kidd is not suited to his gimmick. Uh, here we go again. <laughs> Let's make my nice little list up of who's not suited to their gimmicks because it's our first show. Um, now it's quality lifted the match. The performance of Christian starts being good. Ryder 45. Uh, Xavier Woods 34, Tyson Kidd 36, Damien Sandown 68, Kurt Hawkins 36, Christian 76. Damien Sandown in performance, Christian in performance, Zack Ryder in performance, and Tyson Kidd in rumble and performance. So this is before he got injured at 62C, our first pre-show match of the night. We've got 11,332 people at the Blue Cross Arena tonight for Monday Night Raw. In a terrible pre-show match, Jinder Mahal, Heath Slater, and Wade Barrett defeat Evan Bourne, Sinkai, and CJ Parker. When we're about to defeat Evan Bourne by Pin of the Wastelands. Um, CJ Parker 25, Sin Cara 42, Evan Bourne 43, Wade Barrett 68, Heath Slater 44, Jinder Mahal 37. Heath Slater in performance, Wade Barrett Techno flying and performance, Jinder Mahal in rumble, Techno and performance, 53 C minus. Not bad. In an extremely short pre show match, Seamus, Kofi Kingston, and R Truth defeat Justin Gabriel, Big E Langston, and Santino Morello in. <clears throat> in 502, and Seamus defeats Santino by pin of the Celtic Cross. In terms of ring work, Seamus said as well as well or not. Um, show has sustained a fully ruptured. Oh, great. Justin Gabriel. Right, number one. We've only just. We've only got two so far. We're doing well. We're doing well. Justin. We've got Tyson Kidd and Justin. Um, Santino Rilla, 48. Langston, 61. Gabriel, 50. Truth, 65. Kingston 63 and Shane with 75. Biggie Lance and Approved Informants and Kofi and Rumble. 67 C plus. Nice. Who's got. Oh, yeah, we're turning. Yeah, that's it. Our truth's turning heel, isn't it? In an abysmal pre show match, Naomi defeats Charlotte by Pin for the Nightmare. Rick Flair did good work ringside. Charlotte and Rick Flair good pairing. Good. Naomi was the last game. Charlotte and Naomi have a pretty crunch list in the match. Charlotte 22, Naomi 25. No work agreements, 24E. Women's division is shit in this game. This one's too bad. And a preacher about terrible wrestling honors is some crowd heat. Natalia defeated Rosa Mendes in 5 or 8 by the German suplex. Natalia 50, Rosa Mendes 26. No work agreements. Charlotte has got a reason for being now up on the main roster because I know Paige came up to the main roster. Well, Paige is not going to be a part of it. And I've set this up to look kind of like it's going to. Because. Of feuds and stuff, it looks realistic. And then the pre show had good wrestling, decent match for the crowd. Bray Wyatt defeated Ray Mysterio in 818 by understanding suit on Ray Mysterio to his heel turn. Ray Mysterio 82, Bray Wyatt 71, no work improvements. 
It's only three B minus. Uh, no, not yet. Bye bye. Bye bye. We'll just do it in a match at some point. <clears throat> and Vince McMahon comes out to the ring and goes, Welcome to Monday Night Raw. Last night was an amazing WrestleMania. We saw the undefeated streak end. Now, starting next month, the brand split will be back and we'll be bringing back the world title and we'll start a tournament to crown a new world champion next week on Raw. And Bray goes, I stand here as WWE champion. Now, I guess, now I guess, why would you split the rosters when both are doing great? I am the most important man in WWE and I stand tall as a god. And then the lights go off and Bray White's music hits and Bray White comes down to him and goes, Mr. Bryan, you seem to be confused about your goals in life. Let me tell you what the chapters mean. When you look around, the world is blind. They cheer you because you're the underdog. Like them, they don't want... They don't want... They don't want the less to do... Like them, they don't want you to be cheered the underdog. To be the underdog. You see, they hate me because I am unusual and different. And it's now time for you to follow the buttons. And the lights just basically go off and on Bray White's gone. Vince Man's standing there confused, so is Bray, and we cut the commercial break in 84B. Nice. My spelling wasn't very good. In a bad hotel rest and answer to crap non existent crowd, he Adrian Neville defeated JTG in 644 by pivotal the shooting star leg drop. JTT Verdi, Adrian Neville 46. No work improvements for 43D. One of our first call ups tonight. I've done a few call ups. Here's another one. In a bad hotel rest and non existent crowd, he Drew McIntyre defeated Sami Zayn. In 438 by Pim for the Future Shop. Drew McIntyre 38. Um, Sami Zayn 45. Drew McIntyre is not suited to his gimmick. But that's fine because I can deal with that one right away. I ain't got right that one. I already planned on changing. He's now an arrogant heel. And you'll see why in a minute. I had it with this company. 3MB is dead and Drew McIntyre is born. A new badass. My first call is with, B with you, Big E Langston. I'm coming to get this to get the Intercontinental back around my waist to watch you back. You see what I did to this NXT wannabe? It'll be you next. Way too D. Thank you. He's going after the Intercontinental Championship. <laughs> in a decent match, the White family defeated the Shield in 742 and Eric Warren defeated Ron Reigns by pin for the greetings from the North. Everyone was weak link struggling to keep everyone else from the performance. Seth Rollins. Oh, great. Seth is not suited to his gimmick, guys. Help. Another one. Seth Rollins not suited to his gimmick. Oh, Roman was off his game. He's sustained a bruised bollocks. These two have great chemistry and team together. Roman Reigns 68. Seth Rollins 69. Eric Rowan 41. Luke Harper 56. Eric Roman Reigns in Blue Rumble. Eric Rowan 64C. Eric Rowan sustained a bruise. Thank you, Mike Rotondo. Okay, Roman Reigns got the thing me. And then Bray White takes the mic and he goes, Already tonight I have sent signals to Daniel. And now, the Usos are up next. Jimmy and Jay, we're coming for the tag team titles. Governor need to realise the White family is going to be taking control and win the gold because we deserve it. The lights go out and they're basically gone again. So they're just using, you know, Undertaker tricks. But that's kind of what I felt like he should do. In a total wrestling on this crowd heat, Becky Lynch defeated Brie Bella in 747 by putting the hard knocks. And during the, during the match, we also had Becky Lynch turn on Brie. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Da -da 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 -da. And that was all done. Awesome. Becky Lynch is a heel because we've got too many faces in the women's division. John Cena's in the back. And he has the microphone. He's not got a storyline at the moment. He's going to just be talking about the tournament. So we're going to do a brand split. Awesome. The WWE is a place to be a superstar. And now we're going to see who the top dog is. I'm entering the world title tournament. And I'm going to win all the matches and be the champion. John Cena sucks. In a decent match, the Good Friends defeated the Rhodes Dynasty in 8 10 and Cesaro defeated Goldust by pin for the neutralizer. Cody Rhodes 61, Goldust 61, Cody Rhodes 60, and Cesaro 59, Jack Swagger 62. Um, Cody Rhodes and Rumble, Jack Swagger technically, these two are not going to be taking up for much longer anyway. Um, but yeah, I didn't want them to be called the Real Americans, so I changed the name. 63C. Not a bad match. In about that, Dean Ambrose defeats Fandango in 742 by pin for the headlock driver. Dean Ambrose makes defense number one of his United States title. Fandango 46, Dean Ambrose 66, 63C. Not bad. <clears throat> and way back comes that, goes. Dean Ambrose, United States champion. 
You see, Dean, you and your little brands are nothing, are nothing but old nymphs. You've been washed down the river in a, into a novelty act. And Extreme Rules, I'm coming for your title in an I Quit match. So I can make you say, I quit before you can run. Yikes. Well, there you go, friends. We've got our first match properly announced tonight for Extreme Rules. And it is going to be Wade Barrett versus, in four weeks' time, on WWE Week. You've got four weeks to wait. So. But yes, we'll continue building up each week. So join us every week. So it's going to be Wade Barrett. Mm-hmm. Let's tie up the card on Dean Ambrose. Taking on Dean Ambrose, I'm, to, oh. I'm sorry, I'm having struggles with this mouse because I'm not at home like I normally want to do this. Um, so I'm thinking these two can pull off an I quit match in the brawling sense because they're both brawlers, in my opinion. So Wade Barrett, there's no signings by the way because I haven't been out, I haven't had time because I kind of started the game and you got. Raw, so there's no new wrestlers or anything, it's just call ups from NXT more than anything tonight. There is wrestlers under contract negotiations with me for the company. Um, 69C plus, not bad, let's move on. <clears throat> and the rocks in the back. After winning the WWE title at Royal Rumble, I fell a rush and not fell in years, and now I'm going to make a huge announcement. The Rock is coming back to wrestle full time with WWE. If you smile, what the rock! Is cooking. Sony 3B minus. Thank you, Rock, for doing a shit promo. But yeah, he's coming back full time. He's on the post show tonight, but he's not in the main card. In a decent match, the Miz defeat Rob Van Dam, 23 by field the school question finale. The Miz 70, Rob Van Dam 69, the Miz in front. You'll soon realise, guys, that I absolutely love the Miz, and he'll be appearing a lot. In a terrible match, AJ Lee defeated Nikki Bella in 8.24 by Pimple with a slice spread 2. AJ Lee makes defense number 2 of her WWE Divas Championship. Tamina did some good work at ringside. Nikki Bella 39, AJ Lee 43. No work improvements. I can see that Tamina is not suited to her gimmick, even though she's only at ringside. So I'll put her in. I know I'm not spelling names right, but I know who they're meant to be. And that's all that matters in this series. Ooh. 45D, not bad. I'm going to blame. Then Rick Flair comes out and goes, Woo! You want a challenge for that title, do you? Well, here is one, AJ Lee. My daughter, Charlotte. At Extreme Rules, you, are, you will prove, we will prove that she is the future of women's wrestling in the WWE. Now, I've picked Charlotte over Paige. I'm not being over the Paige. I absolutely adore Paige. She's a legend and an amazing woman. But, not being horrible to her, right now in the game database, her popularity isn't as good enough to be on the main roster. Nor is Charlotte's really, but Charlotte was a better option. To be honest. But Charlotte was a better option. Because, you know, but we'll see. 54C minus, we'll see how it works. And then we've got Paul Heyman in the back with Brock Lesnar. And he goes, last night, my client Brock Lesnar made history by beating The Undertaker and ending the undefeated streak. Now, WWE, you want to forget about him? He's not going to be in the world title picture as... World title pitcher and Bray's forcing himself into a match with Daniel Bryan. Be careful, WWE. The Beast does not like to be forgotten. Yeah, I'm not putting Brock Lesnar into any title pitchers, and it's going to be turned into a big major storyline. In a bout of a terrible wrestling on this and crowd heat, the Brutes defeat Los Matadores in 742, but Alexander Rusev defeated Diego by pin for the Bullplex. Ball Dempsey was the weak link, that's fine. Fernando 48, Diego 53. Paul Dempsey 23 and Alexander Russo 33, Diego and Technol. Um, both of these guys are not suited to their gimmicks. Great. That's fine. I'm going to turn them back then. And um, back to Epico and Premio. Because that is who they were, if anyone did not know. That was McDoors, was them. In next year's short match, Kane defeated Big Show in 1 minute 17 by Pinnacle Choke Slam. Big Show 77, Kane 77, no work on Brutes. I know it was a one minute match. Anyway, Bray White is back and Daniel Bryan backstage. Um, and Alvin breaks out and they start brawling with each other. Bray's the raid agents have to pull him apart. Then Kane is shown backstage where officials just found him bloodied and battered. The apparent victim was a sneak attack. He's stunned conscious but, conscious but doesn't know who attacked him. 
Hold on a minute, Kane's getting attacked backstage. Who is the mystery attack of Kane? In a great, in a bout of great wrestling and good heat, Dolph Ziggler defeated Alberto Del Rio in 7.37 by Pimple Zigzag. Dolph Ziggler 77, Del Rio 77. No work in progress. Dolph Ziggler's not, Ziggler's not suited to his gimmick. Oh my lord, I thought I was doing alright. The list is getting longer. <laughs> in a baseball match, Cameron, Bailey and Lucia Fox beat Layla. Um, Summer Rain Tima and Tamina in 6.38 when Bailey defeated Tamina by pinfall. Lucia Fox 24, Bailey 27, Cameron 23, Tamina 32, Summer Rain 9 and Layla 45. Um, Cam Cameron is improving in performance. 34 E plus. Let's um, Triple H is in the back for 80 B with Stephanie. And he goes last night. I lost to Brian in my fir in in the first match at WrestleMania. Now I'm not going to lie down and take it. So Extreme Rules, I'm issuing an open challenge to anyone to anyone in the business to come and beat the game Triple H. So yes, at I'm not going to book it in, but uh, can I book it in so we have a question mark? There used to be a way of doing it to TBD. No, the only way of doing it. But yeah, we'll have an open challenge at Extreme Rules, which will form to H. I hope you'll find out what he, he's going to challenge him there. You wouldn't take his in, 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 in a graveyard. Quite literally in a graveyard. Just chucking it down in the rain here. Last night, the dead man got beaten by Brock Lesnar. But this is not the end for the dead man, but the beginning of a new chapter. I am the battle guardian, and I'll destroy you all, you all who think I have ended. This is just the beginning. Because if you remember, everyone thought the Undertaker retired after this match. And he didn't. And I'm not going to let him retire either, because I want to follow kind of what literally happened. He might retire with Nishas. It's me if I can get away with it. But for now, yeah, he's not retired. In about a good, great heat and good wrestling, John Cena defeated Batista in 7.49 by pinfall. The attitude adjustment, John Cena 86, Batista 65, 73B minus. In about a decent wrestling, but on the the Usos defeated Ryback right in 818 and Jimmy Uso defeated Curtis Axel by pinfall. The Ali Us. Jimmy Uso 55, Jay Uso 55, Curtis Axel 56, Ryback right 65. Jimmy Uso in performance and Jay Uso in performance. Uh, Ryback sustained elbow tendonitis. Thank you, Slaughter. The main event, now it's on to the main event of the night as Daniel Bryan will be taking on Randy Orton. I don't remember who it was. 18 minutes. So these, this is why I like doing WWE Weekly because they come out longer because of the three hours raw. Um, in about with superb wrestling and great heat, Daniel Bryan defeated Randy Orton in 25 minutes 13. By pimple, Daniel Bryan makes defence number one of his WWE Championship. Randy Orton 82, Daniel Bryan 85. Orton is not suited to his gimmick. And Orton's improving technical performance, but he's not suited to his gimmick. So Orton is in. And then we're going to go on to our post show. Oh no. After that, Daniel Bryan celebrating his victory in the ring. Bray White wins and attacks Daniel, beating Daniel Bryan down to the mat. Awesome. Um, in a pretty bad, fantastic wrestling, great heat. The Rock defeat Triple H in 12.08 by the Rock Bottom. These two are an awkward 75.80. Um, there won't be any improvements on these two. 58C minus. And then in a post show about Brock Lesnar defeated Mark Henry in 8.14 by Pinball with the F5. Brock Lesnar 82, Mark Henry 76. Lesnar informs Henry in Technol. That is where we're going to end tonight's show, my friends. And wasn't it a good one? At 65C, the general feeling is WWE doesn't have enough interesting storylines. This increased the popularity in three regions, but lost its popularity in 19 regions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys again for another edition of WWE. Tomorrow, it'll be SmackDown. I'll see you then. <laughs>